What's going on guys? This is day number 13 of the Merch Focus 30 series and today I wanted to talk to you guys about long tail keywords. So what is a long tail keyword? A long tail keyword is essentially just a longer form version of a keyword. So um, I'm going to use an example for, for most of this stuff um, and the example I'll use is bowling. Uh, if you're trying to offer a or come up in search results for bowling um, t-shirts, then you might want to consider what people are really searching for on Google beyond just the keyword bowling t-shirt. Um, and these might be things like bowling t-shirts for men, bowling t-shirts for women. Um, and yeah, just kind of looking into the ways that we can pop up in search results for kind of that, that longer term um, that people are plugging in. So a few things that I've been using recently, um, and I found these, I'll actually put a link to the article that I found all of this stuff on because there's a, there's some really good, um, articles out there on long-term key or long tail keywords. But a few of the things that I've been using, um, I'll just go over each one. So the first one obviously is going to be Amazon. Now when I'm looking for, so let's say again, going back to that bowling, um, niche, I've already decided I want to do some designs centered around bowling. Um, let me just type, start, go ahead and start typing things in here. So if I start and do just bowling, you'll notice that we get all these results that Amazon is suggesting to us. Now this is powerful because it essentially is saying that other people who are looking to purchase something around the bowling niche are, um, looking for these, these, uh, keywords or these terms right here. So we have bowling shoes, men, bowling shoes, women, bowling ball bag, bowling shoes, bowling accessories. Now, obviously you're going to go through these. We even see bowling shirts for men is one of the things on here, but you're going to go through these and you're obviously going to see, you know, some of this stuff you're definitely not going to use like bowling shoes, men, someone who searches for that's looking for shoes. So it wouldn't be wise to use that as a long term um, or long tail keyword in our t-shirt description because then the person if our shirt pops up it's not going to get clicked on or there's at least you know less of a likelihood that it gets, gets clicked on but there are some ones in here for example that i'm definitely going to want to take a look at it and probably incorporate in my listing um, for example bowling accessories uh that's one that i might want to use if i am featuring let's say like a bowling ball on my t-shirt obviously i'm going to talk about that or maybe bowling ball bag bowling bag um, bowling shirts for men, then we can extrapolate off that bowling shirts for women, um, et cetera. So that's kind of the first place that I start is just on Amazon and you can take that out. So maybe I want to go to the next level bowling t-shirt and then I can look and say, okay, it's suggesting bowling t-shirts for men, bowling t-shirt, funny bowling t-shirts for women, for kids, for boys. So again, guys, these are just like other things that we can do. Um, because I'm guessing if I just search bowling t-shirts for men, or bowling t-shirts, that's going to be pretty generic and probably have more competition because again, we want to think about what are the things that other people aren't going to be doing. Um, so if we search this, I mean, there's a ton of different stuff in here. Um, there's some cool designs, but let's see, you'll notice it's one of one of 48, uh, one through 48 for over a thousand results. Let's see if we search bowling t-shirts for men. Let's just see what pops up. So still fairly competitive. Um, here, let me actually do one one step further here. I'm gonna take a look at the BSR really quick. So bowling t-shirts, let's just see what Jungle Scout says. This one's doing 450 units a month, well. Wow. Okay, $6.99, it's an inexpensive shirt. So yeah, the average sales rank on these is 600,000. We're looking like something like this one right here is doing 86 units a month, roughly. This one's doing 41. 192,000 BSR. Anyway, so you guys get the idea. Let's just check one more time. Uh, 
So while that's loading, I'm going to move on to the next one, but um, you guys get the idea. So just kind of using the search suggestions from Amazon. Now the next one is going to be pretty much the same thing. It's just going to be on Google. Um, the reason I like to start on Amazon is we're going to be posting our shirts on Amazon, obviously. So uh, I want to go with the things that Amazon's telling me people are already searching for, but you can do the exact same thing on Google and that's going to give you maybe a little bit of a broader idea. Um, and that does help because some people might be finding the t-shirts, you know, somewhere on Google um, in their search results. So, you know, maybe if we type in bowling t-shirt, see here, we're going to get some, some different stuff. Bowling t-shirts, custom bowling t-shirt design, bowling t-shirts, Amazon. So finding ways to optimize your listing to cater to this stuff is just another way that you can help um, boost some of that, uh, that traffic, hopefully to your design. Um, so that's kind of the second one. I'm going to pop back over here really quick. Yeah, so you guys will notice, you know, we went from just typing in bowling t-shirts. Uh, it was a average sales rank uh, BSR of 600,000 or so. And bowling t-shirts for men um, is uh, in the 700,000, 733. Uh, what that tells me is just that this is going to be, this, this keyword right here is... Um, just has a little bit less, uh, less trap or sorry, less demand. Um, it's not as high competition um, for the keyword itself, and it's probably not being searched as the primary way that people find the T-shirt. But you guys can see that we're still getting, you know, a lot of results, and there's still some some movement here and um, BSR. So if we can factor that in and put it on our listing, that's a great way to help people find our design. Um, same with Google. Now the next one, I've been using this tool. Uh, it's going to do some of the similar stuff. It's called Suvel. Um, again, I'll put a link to all this stuff, but it just pulls kind of the same information from multiple sites. Uh, so if I type in bowling, it's going to pull and we'll see over here we have Amazon. It's pulling all of these, Yahoo. Um, so this is just a good way that we can find kind of an aggregated list of bowling related um, ideas to, to include in our listing as well. Bowling t-shirt, like Wikipedia, if we just see has bowling shirts, the only one on there that's really aggregating. Some of these, yeah, I mean, you kind of have to comb through and decide like, is, are, are these worth it or not? But yeah, guys, again, you get the idea Bing, we have a bunch of different ideas. Um, so we can kind of go ahead and incorporate all of this stuff into our listing. So the last two tools I've mentioned before, but are sonar, um, bowling, I can just search bowling as the keyword and we're going to get 16,000. This is a free tool. So I normally check this when I'm doing my research for designs. Um, this is going to just pull up a ton of different stuff. We can actually download this list as well into, a, I believe it's a CSV file, um, but on Sonar, you can actually go ahead and do uh, extended, which is going to pull kind of related keywords. Um, and you guys will notice like some of these, again, you're probably not going to use, but there are some maybe maybe you want to incorporate. Um, bowling ball cleaner, bowling towel, bowling party favorites. Like that's one that I haven't seen on any of the other sites, but we might want to throw in. Um, bowling set. So you guys get the idea there. So Sonar, uh, again, it's an awesome tool, completely free um, as well. And then the last one is Merch Informer. Um, they have one of the modules over here is the Keyword Finder, and I can search in there, and then um, it'll search Amazon and Cafe Press. Bowling, I'll just start generic. I've raved enough about Merch Informer, so you guys obviously know that I love the... Um, Love the tool and there's just, there's so many different things that you can do in here. I actually haven't even started playing with any of the favorite keywords, but you can favorite keywords and start to actually kind of build up your own, um, your own little uh, list of those. Now the cool thing is that it'll tell you the rough search volume in here, which is really, really useful. Um, so you guys can kind of get an idea take you know, some of the ideas that we got from the search suggestions on Amazon and then pull those into here and we can actually see roughly what the competition is, um, what people are bidding on keywords for that, um, and then even kind of the search volume. Bowling, obviously, we have 1.8 million plus searches, but then you guys will notice some funny ones like this one, for example, bowling and shoes probably, but it's spelled wrong. Um, you know, if that can be something where Again, we're thinking longer term, uh, long tail keywords here, but thinking of misspell. So people that spelled it, but it's one letter off or something like that. Bowling apparel, um, search volume is not extremely high. 
Um, but anyway, so you guys can also go through this and just kind of get a sense of what people are actually looking for as well. So um, that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to, to show you kind of what I'm doing for a long tail keywords. Uh, again, I'm actually pretty new to long tail keywords. So, uh, you know, SEO is not my forte. So again, in the comments below, I'd appreciate it if you guys have any other suggestions or any other tools. And of course, if you guys got some value out of this, I'd love to, uh, get a like, a comment, a share, and of course hit the subscribe button to just follow my, my 30 day process here and kind of learning about merch and this platform. And with that guys, I will see you in the next video tomorrow. Cheers.